Hi, in this video we're going to go over the differences between a Picatinny rail and a Weaver rail. The first thing to note is that the profile of these systems are identical. I'm going to uh, hold this up and try and get this in focus here for you. So when we talk about the profile, uh, here's, here's the rail. Uh, when we're talking about a profile, we're talking about the shape that you see here uh, looking at it from the end. So the profile of a Picatinny and a Weaver rail system are the same. There's no difference. So that's the first thing. So then the question is, well, what's really different about them? The difference in the Picatinny and the Weaver rail systems is the size of this notch here but and the spacing. The Weaver rails is an older system. Uh, this is before the Picatinny standard was adopted. The Picatinny standard is mil military standard number 1913, and that was adopted in 1995. Officially, on, a pick on the military standard Picatinny rail, these grooves here are 0 0.206 inches wide and from center to center there is a width of 0.394 inches. So that's a consistent width all the way through here so that the width of the groove and the distance between centers has to be that same standard for it to be a true Picatinny system. So Picatinny does refer specifically to the military standard 1913 adopted in 1995. Now a weaver rail also has grooves here uh, but those were typically at 0 0.180 inches so just slightly smaller than the 0 0.206 inches of a Picatinny groove. So the weaver grooves were slightly smaller as far as their distance from center to center the weavers didn't have a consistent measurement they were they really the standard really was to have that profile and then weaver systems would just have the grooves wherever it needed to be for whatever application there was so in in many instances a, a weaver system would have a specific application for a specific uh, mount uh, but it wasn't really meant to be an interchangeable uh, system. That all changed in 95 with the military standard 1913 Picatinny which made it standard so so mounts so scopes and sights and whatnot would go from one gun to another. When it comes to paintball we didn't really start putting rails on guns until the past I don't know, three, four, five, six years. So everything that you're going to see in paintball that I know of is a Picatinny rail. So this happens to be a new Kronos. All the Tipman rails I've ever seen are all true Picatinny rails. So what, uh, so what can you take away from this? If you are looking at paintball guns, and paintball accessories, whether it says Weaver or Picatinny, most likely the accessory is designed to fit on Picatinny systems. Most likely the rail on the gun is a Picatinny rail. Even if it does say Weaver, if it's designed for paintball, it is most likely a Picatinny setup. So if you're looking at real firearms or real firearms equipment or accessories, those manufacturers are a little more strict with their terminology and quite and should be referring to things as a weaver or Picatinny. If it's a weaver setup, a weaver accessory, it's most it's likely that it will fit on a Picatinny rail. Uh, once again, the the notches here on a Picatinny are wider than the weavers, so whatever mounting screw you have on a weaver bolt will probably fit on there and often if there is more than one connection on the weaver often they'll line up correctly a lot of weaver 
accessories will just have one connection so you're good as long as you can you've got room to fit it on there so many weaver system weaver accessories will fit on a picatinny rail most picatinny accessories if they are truly designed for a picatinny rail system will not fit on a weaver rail but again in paintball there aren't really any weaver rails that are all picatinny there you go.